26-year-old Michael Eagle, an amateur musician and recent law school graduate, was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis, a form of inflammatory bowel disease affecting the intestines that can strike anyone at any age. When I found blood in the toilet, that was when I picked up the phone. He went for a colonoscopy at the first sign of trouble and received immediate treatment. For patients with ulcerative colitis, the disease is always limited to the colon. Just the lowest portion of the colon can be involved, uh, about half the colon or the entire colon. I was diagnosed with left side ulcerative colitis. I took the medications that I was given and other than that, it has stayed in the left side, thankfully hasn't engulfed you know, the entire colon or anything like that. Having learned firsthand the harmful role that stress can play in his disease and facing a high pressure career as an attorney, Michael has developed his own stress management program. If, even if I'm thinking about whatever it is that's bothering me, it doesn't bother me while I'm playing. So it's definitely one of my releases. And there's always gonna be something that's gonna be a stress in life. It's just something I've got to deal with. And so far, I deal, and I'm doing okay. <laughs> Michael controls his condition with medication that's been approved to treat ulcerative colitis, but new drugs for the condition are being developed. There's a number of other uh, medications, biotechnology agents, and some oral uh, pills that are in earlier stages of testing for ulcerative colitis. Say, you happy? That looks fun. But often, ulcerative colitis is not managed with medication alone. Six years ago, Indiana resident and single mother of two, Lynn Ann Zuckler, thought her symptoms were related to her overloaded life. I just thought it was nerves. You stress from the divorce, going back to work after 11 years of being home raising my kids. Lynn Ann was diagnosed with a life-threatening case of ulcerative colitis. Once we did the further testing, we found out my large colon was nothing but one big giant ulcer. That discovery limited Lynn Ann's options. She was told she needed to have her colon removed, a serious operation that would significantly impact her quality of life. Lynn Ann's case is, is particularly emotional for me. I recommended surgery to remove her colon that is a hard thing for people to hear because it's irreversible. You take out a colon and there's no turning back from that. She made me realize that if I didn't do this, I was gonna die. Lynn Ann's case was unusually severe. Inflammatory bowel disease is rarely fatal, but the complications and other diseases that often stem from it, including colon cancer, can be. Early diagnosis and treatment along with frequent follow-up screenings, may spell the difference between managing the condition over the course of a normal lifetime or the possibility of a loss of life.